Hello and welcome to the video solutions for IPMAT Indoor 2024. Today we are going to see one question from the essay section. Let's look at the very first question. The very first question, imagine you are in the examination hall doing, uh, taking your IPMAT Indoor after one full year of preparation. Uh, you start with the very first section, you see the very first question and the very first question thrown at you is a functions question which involves mod and uh, it also involves something like a maximum possible value. Correct. So, it's actually a, 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 a perfect recipe uh, for disaster, uh, you know, to, to start your exam on a disastrous note. But if you, if you think properly, this question is not a very, very difficult question. It's a very classic uh, IPMAT Indoor question. Uh, you know, they, they have now become experts in, in, in disguising uh, questions into very difficult looking questions, but they are not really difficult. If you just think ab about it, you know, most of the questions that we will do uh, across all the videos for IPMAT in 24, both essay and MCQ section, most of the questions I'm going to tell you to just sit and think. Okay, it's going to be less of doing and more of thinking, more of application of the concepts rather than, you know, actual uh, calculations. But anyway, let's get to the first question. They say f of x is mod of x plus mod x the whole mod, right? And g of x is equal to 1 of x, uh, 1 by x, sorry. Uh, if f of a plus g of f of a is 13 by 6, we need to find the maximum possible value of f of g of a. Okay. Let's first decode what is given. They say f of x is mod of x plus, f of x is mod of x plus a mod x with the whole mod. We know that x can either be positive or negative. Think properly. If x is positive, the innermost mod x, okay, when it opens, it's not going to do anything because it, the guy itself is positive. So then the, 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 the mod becomes mod of x plus x, which means it's nothing but mod of 2x. And x is positive, remember, which means it's nothing but 2x. So in case of x being positive, f of x is going to reduce to a very simple looking 2x, okay. Let us think of the other possibility if x is negative. If x is negative, the innermost mod x, let us take an example, you will understand it better. Assume x as minus 3. The innermost mod x, this guy will convert that, the, the mod will convert that minus 3 into plus 3. Okay, so this becomes a plus 3. This is still a minus 3 and minus 3 plus 3 will become a 0 inside a mod. 0 inside a mod will not, mod cannot do anything to 0, which means this will turn out to be 0. So, when x is negative, f of x becomes 0. Now, remember, if x is negative and f of x is becoming uh, uh, 0, okay, then what you have to understand is that when it is added with something and you get a proper answer, 0 is not going to affect anything. What I mean to tell you is, uh, have a look at f of a plus g of f of a, they say is 13 by 6, correct? And you understand that g of x is nothing but 1 by x, which means whatever input you give to the function g, g does nothing but reciprocate it, find the reciprocal of it, correct? Which means if you give a input of 1, g will give you 1 upon 1. You give an input of 2, g will give you 1 by 2. You give an input of minus 3, g will give you minus 1 by 3. You give an input of 0, g will give you 1 by 0 which is an infinity. So, now think about f of a plus g of f of a. Let us say if x is negative, then f of a negative number is going to be 0. g of f of negative number means f of negative number is giving us 0. g of 0 is going to give us infinity. Correct? So, 0 plus infinity cannot ever be equal to 13 by 6 is what they have given, which means this is not a possibility at all. So, we can immediately rule out the possibility of x being negative, x can only be positive, that is about it, okay. That is a big, big, uh, uh, you know, uh, breakthrough in the question because now you do not have to work anymore uh, with, 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 with the mod sign. You just know that f of x is 2x, g of x is, if f of x is making x as 2x, g of x will do what? g of x will find reciprocal, which means if you have to find g of f of a, it is 1 upon 2x. Okay, which means what they have given is effectively nothing but f of a which was 2x and g of f of a which is reciprocal of f of a which is 1 by 2x. This is equal to 13 by 6. 
right? At this point, okay, it's very tempting to get the LCM on the left hand side, form a quadratic equation and find an answer. You obviously can and you will land up with the right answer, okay? But as I've been telling you, think, okay? This type of uh, left hand side whenever you see, well, what do I mean by type of left hand side? Whenever a number plus its reciprocal, okay. Imagine it is x plus 1 by x, okay. And in your head, if you do the uh, LCM, it's going to be x square plus 1 upon x, which means the numerator is 1 more than the square of denominator, correct? x square plus 1 upon x. So, numerator is 1 more than the square of the denominator and the denominator obviously is x, okay. So, and remember that if, so if, let me just uh, write it so that you guys understand this better. Let's see, I equate this to 37 by 6, okay. Then should you actually, uh, you know, uh, cross multiply, get a quadratic, solve the quadratic? Not really. The numerator on the right hand side is also one more than the square of the denominator which means x can be equated to 6 and therefore x square plus 1 can be equated to 37. So, we immediately know that x is 6 or 1 by 6, right? Had this not been 37 by 6, let's say had this been 10 by 3, exactly same thing. Denom numerator is 1 more than the square of denominator, x will be 3 or 1 by 3. So, in that case also, I am not going to solve. Only thing is in this case, in the question that we have been given, it is not that case. This guy is nothing but 13 by 6. Now, in such cases, what you should always try for first thing is break the uh, denominator into its co-prime factors. 6, break it as 2 and 3, co-prime factors, okay? And then try whether the reciprocal of 2 by 3 and 3 by 2 works or not, okay? So, if you think about 2 by 3 plus 3 by 2, and you actually do the uh, uh, LCM, 2 by 3 plus 3 by 2 is 3 square plus 2 square upon 2 into 3. So, 2 into 3 will give us 6 and 2 square plus 3 square does give us 13, which means at this point, I would not get into solving. So, therefore, here 2x is going to be 2 by 3 or 3 by 2, okay? So, therefore, x, the final value x is going to be equal to what? Uh, 2 by 6, which is nothing but 1 by 3 or x is equal to 3 by 4. These are the values of x or a. In fact, they've, they've said a. So, let's say this is our a. Okay. Now, let's move on to what is asked. What is asked is maximum possible value of f of g of a. Now, you know g of a. What does g of a does? g of a only does the reciprocal. So, if you give a to g, g will give you 1 by a. And what does f do? f of x is 2x, remember? So, f just doubles it. So, if g, if you give a to g, g is going to give you back 1 by a. If you give that 1 by a to f, f is going to just double it. So, f is going to give you 2 by a, correct? Which means f of g of a is actually nothing but a simple 2 by a. But this is very, very, very important and tricky. Here, the a is in the denominator and they have asked us the maximum possible value. So, if you are going to just take the bigger value of A, you are going to end up being incorrect. Because A is in the denominator, A needs to be as low as possible and not as high as possible. Okay, so the two values of A that we figured out, which was 1 by 3 or 3 by 4, we are going to pick up 1 by 3 and not 3 by 4. Okay, so 2 times, uh, 2 upon 1 by 3 is nothing but 2 into 3. Final answer is going to be equal to 6. So, yeah. I think there are maybe one or two very important things in the question, which if you crack and in time, you're going to save a lot of time and you're going to be really ahead of everybody else attempting this particular question. First thing was figuring out the f of x being, you know, mod of x plus mod x, the whole mod is a, nothing but a simple 2x, uh, ruling out the negative x possibility, which you can only by sitting and thinking, remember, okay, you don't have to write anything. Second most important thing that I thought in this question was uh, to figure out that uh, 2x plus 1 by 2x equal to 13 by 6 is equal to that individually 2x uh, can mean 3 by 2 or 2 by 3. So, that uh, you know p plus 1 by p is equal to 
that part is going to be very tricky. If you do that, uh, you will be faster. If you don't, worst case, you're going to probably, you know, spend 40, 50, 60 seconds extra in figure in writing the quadratic, splitting the middle term and, and, and all of that. But you'll still get an answer. It's not a very big crime uh, in, in, in an indoor paper essay section that you spend maybe 40, 50 seconds extra. It's okay. It's all right. You don't have to uh, stress yourself out uh, uh, over that. But it's definitely good, you know, to have such tricks up your sleeve. So when you try your questions next time, you should uh, look out for such particular. Uh, such, such things when you're going to solve and avoid getting into quadratic. Okay, so I hope this question uh, was clear. I, uh, as I told you, this is a classic uh, indoor question because it does not require a lot of calculations, uh, manual calculations, but a lot of thought, a lot of application of your concepts. Okay, uh, so yes, uh, you know, seeing this question uh, uh, when you are in the uh, indoor exam, very first section, very first question, uh, it definitely ca catches you off guard. But yes, indoor is famous for throwing such bouncers. Uh, we as students need to, uh, you know, be prepared prepared for such kind of bounces. So when you take your exams uh, in the coming years, you have to be mentally prepared that there will be such bouncers uh, which I have to either hook or probably duck. Okay, so you, you need to make your choice depending on how much your preparation level is. See you and all the best.